So now we made it to the to the uh, border gate right there. So you can actually see uh, Macau, and it says. Uh, Zona. And now we've arrived in the arrivals of Hingqing. So now we're going to come on in. So we had to use our passports. Um, we got a visa, so you need to try a visa to, to get in. But once you do, you're all set up. So. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. So we're in Zhuhai. We're just gonna check this out. That's kind of cool. That's really, really cool. Uh -huh. So we're just going to explore around and kind of check it out. So we're kind of at the Hingqing part right now. And it looks like they're having a lot of fun right there. So, okay. so let's, and I'm with this guy right here. Say hi. All right. And we're, we just came across, so we just basically tried to do a train station one. And we're finding all these other stuff right across the border, which I didn't know was here, including a, a grocery store. I bet all this stuff is so cheap. Okay, so we just came from downstairs. We were, it was kind of a supermarket, restaurant, and then this is uh, Ponto. Looks like there's another food court right here too. So we're gonna check this out. Looks like we have to go through a uh, metal detector. So it looks like everybody's going through it. Is doing the metal detector for what? I don't know. But anyways. So now we're in the shopping area and we're in uh, Pontu. So we're in this um, area that's right outside of the gate, basically. Let's come on out. We got lots of other people with cameras as well. Um, so I don't know what that's all about. Dang, this looks nice though. So the interesting thing about this is they have kind of like Macau-ish titles. And then this is actually kind of Macau-ish too, because it says win. And so, um, let me see what this is. I don't know. Hello. What is this? You can recheck and we give a uh, bag. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to do the scanning. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Bye. So I guess you have to, I guess it's a promotion for the Wind Casino, but I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to do that right now. Oh, these are like fresh oysters actually right there. Okay, we got all kinds of stuff in here. I think this is it. So what we're going to try to do is, um, there's Pont 16 right there. You can see Hengqin Port all the way down. And then my goal now is um, we got to explore a little bit of that. You got to see, um, inside of this a little bit um, and now we're just gonna walk out into among these apartments and we're just gonna go down this way and I'm gonna try to go as far down as I possibly can all the way down and we'll just see what we can do it's like a honk in the horn somebody's honking the horn constantly right there welcome to mainland China so basically right now we're walking past some of these residential Apartments, they look really beautiful, like big giant windows. And it's actually like really quiet except for that one guy on the horn just... So, but we're gonna just walk straight and we're gonna um, try to get an idea of what Hengqin looks like by walking across it if we can. Let's see how we do. Okay, you know what I'm thinking about doing, Tyler? Come here. You know what I'm thinking about doing? So we just did that already, right? The red train. Well, let's go this way. So let's go this way. We can't take the train, but we can go this way. Take a look at that. 
So we're gonna do a take a look at all that right there. Let's go check it out. All right. Let's see if we can get across the street, and then we're gonna walk by these, and we're just gonna keep on going straight down that way and just see how far we can get. There's some mountains on the other side as well. It's been a while, but I did film walking down that street and now we're going to go down this street, which I haven't done before, but we're going to go by a school. And actually, it's kind of interesting. There's like nice mountain kind of stuff over here too. So we're going to check it all out and I'm going to just, I just want to see how far I can get. And we're basically walking um, away from Macau. Um, I guess that's the western direction. Hengqin Chiki Experiment Primary School of CNU. Chiki Experimental School. So I did hear there's going to be a lot of schools over here for kids and they're going to try to get them in here. I wonder if that's already going or not. But that's kind of interesting already. Huh. If you can see that, so we're basically um, we're basically on that blue dot and we're basically going to walk across there. So um, Macau is uh, it's a full map. You think we can do it? You're gonna try it, we're gonna try it, right? And it looks like there's another interesting building right here. Not sure what this one is. But we're just gonna keep on walking and just see what we can see. And I'm kind of expecting, I think they're still building a lot of it as well. So, so I think it's not fully realized yet either. But someday it will be. Yeah, actually that's still being built, so you can see the construction part. And then I'm going to guess it's, this is probably related to the, um, all the workers will probably be here. You get uh, beer, cold beer. Sing Tao. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually sit right here and enjoy some Sing Tao beer. That looks pretty cool. I got to learn Chinese because Chinese people are actually really cool. Really, really like them a lot. So I like the humor. I like, uh, like being around them. So anyways, we're going to keep on walking down and uh, I got to study Chinese. There's uh, Macau, we use uh, English <laughs> quite a bit and it's Cantonese and it's um, and Portuguese. So I've been studying Portuguese and you know, some Portuguese and I like that a lot, but I need to study Mandarin, which isn't uh, used in Macau hardly at all. But I think over here would be great. Hong Kong style tea restaurant right there. It looks like they're also making some apartments right here as well. And I, I just, oh man, it's like all these are still being built. So I can see that, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll bring the camera up when we get closer to that and see how the construction is going. I don't know, it says Pali International Plaza. So there's a Polytech Institute of Technology in, in Macau, so that could be related. So, um, so I don't know if it is or not. Pali International Plaza. Anyways, there's still a lot more buildings here. That's also called uh, Pali International Plaza over there. It looks like it could be like a campus just because of the, I don't know, just feels that way. There's like a overpass as well. Oh, now you can see the other side of that building as well. So that's actually the direction that we just came. And we're gonna just keep on walking down this way, get into all those tall buildings and see what's going on down there. Very interesting. That building actually says Pali Center. So I don't know. And then there's a little thing here. Looks like they got a restaurant already. Kuchun Tong. Yeah, this kind of feels like campus stuff. Like, like campus. There's actually, over there there's a basketball court. And that looks like a whole entire field over there. We're just going to keep on walking and we'll see. Try to make more sense of it as we go. But that looks like kind of a park. Let's go over to that side. Yeah, that looks like a giant park. And actually, I think way over there, there's a waterway as well. Because um, I, I did do some other walking in here maybe six months ago or so. Where's the boy? I guess I'll tell you like that. There he is. So yeah, I walked over there about six months or so ago. And, um, and I could see like there was a kind of a hilltop that I was at and I could overlook like a, a, a really beautiful park. And this looks like it might be maybe the start of it. There it is right there. Tianjin Park, Tianjin Park. So that looks like it's uh, 
man, <laughs> I want to walk as far down as I possibly can. But um, but I am going to come back here another day, and I'm going to do this one. And I bet someday this would be just to people all the time, probably. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep on walking. So you can, you can see a lot of construction, and I can actually see a ton of cranes over there, and I can see buildings that go all the way down that way. So I feel like we're kind of on the periphery here. So we're basically, um, we're kind of not too far from that mountain right there. And then you can see all these apartments that we're going to be walking past. So it looks like this would be a nice residential area filled with people. And I think that'll be the density is that way, which I saw on the map that's consistent with the map anyways. So um, I do want to go down that direction one of these times. Let me just see. Yeah, it looks like there's um, a lot of cranes going that direction. So there's a mountain over on that side. And then there's a mountain over on that side. So it looks like this is like a little canyon of, um, and I saw that on the maps, it's consistent with the maps too, that um, this canyon would be where all the development is at, all the buildings and residential. So I'm kind of curious how they're gonna fill this in because at the moment, when I look at it, it looks like it's um, like kind of walls of apartments, like a wall with a confined apartment. And if that's the case, then you know where are they gonna have like a downtown kind of thing? Like how's that going to work out? I'm, I'm, I'm really curious about that. And um, so, but we're going to just keep on walking and just kind of seeing what we come up with. But generally speaking, like I don't see retail everywhere, like I was kind of hoping. But it does look really beautiful. It does look, and it looks like it'd be, you know, if you lived in these residential places and you're walking around on these nice wide boulevards, I bet it'd be quite pleasant. And also um, driving down these roads, it looks like it's, you know, reasonably, Oh, there's no sidewalk on that side. Sidewalk is on the this side. Anyways. That's kind of what we got going on right now. In our Hing Chien adventure. The other thing too is, um, you know, if you're in, if you, I don't have a, the ability right now, but these bikes, you, know, you can just um, take these bikes and go anywhere you want. So all these bikes are perfect for getting around um, Heng Chin. And so we just can't seem to do it, but we probably could take these, <laughs> but I don't want to do that because I don't know what the consequences are for that. So this one says uh, Legend Chief, Heng Chin, China. Huh, okay. So it looks like this is going to be kind of private residences, private residences with a private entrance. And it looks like there's cars already going in and out of it. Very family friendly. And then this one is kind of the same on the other side as well. You can see all those apartments as well. So yeah, I'm kind of getting a little bit of an insight on how they got this set up. So now I, I, I've been able to see these apartments and it looks like people are living there. There's a lot of cars already in here. And they look like really nice places. And then I guess they would um, maybe be a little bit car centric where they would have to drive. And I think that that's what the people want. Um, but we'll see if there's like a downtown and I think there might be one straight ahead. So once we get past these high rise apartment buildings, which look beautiful by the way, and so brand new, it's amazing. We'll see what else is down that way. Pretty cool though, I like it. So interesting, I can hear somebody practicing music. You hear that? So you can hear like, you can see all the residential, so people are living there and there's also like music in the background. So somebody is practicing an instrument. And over here is this Capital Normal University Heng Chin Boy Kindergarten. So that's just like, I don't know, Capital Norman University. So I'm kind of confused. It's a kindergarten, but it's a university. That, actually, this looks really nice. Like this, I think I heard, I was on the Zhuhai side not too long ago and the, over in Nagong Bay, which is where the density is at. And uh, I jumped in the taxi and he was telling me that, that he's like, oh, Heng Chin, very expensive. For, Cause I was asking about apartment prices and kind of makes sense. These are, these are actually quite nice over here and nice neighborhood. So anyways, we're gonna keep on walking across. See what else we find. As I was walking, I ran into this. 
<laughs> just so you kind of get a reference for where we where we where we are. Um, that is the uh, oh, there's even uh, bike lanes in here. So that's directly where we came from, the port way down there, parking garage right there. And we're just gonna keep on going. So we got bike lanes here too. Very cool. So we're still rocking past those apartments, and then there's like a little canal here. Looks like they man-made the canal as well. Then it comes out over to this. And looks like another school. But I'm not 100% sure. Looks like it though. Let me just, yeah, it looks like another school. So we're gonna just um, come out to the front of that, see what that is. Oh, people really like those farms a lot over here in Hingxin. Here's another one, Lichi Bay. So those apartments have a nice name. Yeah, how can you live in nice apartments and then be honking your horn as if you aren't the kind of person that would live in a nice apartment? I don't get it. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Uh, anyways, this is that school. Man, I just don't know what that's all about. Okay, all the horn honking. All right, let's keep on going. This is pretty cool though. Lichi Bay. And it looks like what we're gonna do is come across into, into a nice, beautiful park. Then we're gonna try to keep on going. Okay, so our street ends, those apartments end, and then it looks like we come out over here to this park. And it looks like to get further along, we have to walk across this park. So this is kind of interesting how this is gonna be. It's kind of a big wide boulevard right here. Huh. Might have to move across kind of quick. Go! Run, 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 run. Okay. So it looks like what we're going to do is say goodbye to that part. And then I think that might have been the bridge I walked along a long time ago. And then we're going to go into this park right here. And I think I'm just going to go, let's catch the name, Ecological Park. Hingxin Ecological Park. So it looks like we're going to go across it. Could be its own video in itself, but I think later it'll be fully utilized with people. I think I did walk this before, and I think that's called Jiki. Z I Q I. There's some people in using the park. So many different directions to go, but I want to walk directly down the middle of it. Oh, that's really spongy. Look at spongy. Nice texture to it. So I just want to walk directly towards those buildings and then um, see what's all down there. Interesting. The hardest part, 100 meters, the hardest part of, of walking out the front door. It's all in English too. Kind of cool. So now you can see, yeah, I did walk over that bridge. It's called Jiki, Z-I-Q-I. -I. Uh, I think I'm going to try to link that to this one. So I did walk over that and I saw this beautiful park all the way around over there and so we're gonna basically walk through it and try to get to the side but it looks like you have like bike path stuff or those are running stuff that's really spongy I think it might be for runners it feels great for, on your feet um, let's see how this all goes so it looks like they got a playground basketball so a place for kids to hang out and then um, we're still just kind of meandering at this point and th there's not a clear way to get from the buildings that we were at over to those buildings but I think it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna try to go this way and just kind of see, see what they got here looks like they have quite a few different things the boy is uh, he's autistic and I think he really wants to play on the playground but the, but he's so big now and the kids are so little so I am um, gonna try to just take him over here because um, I think we're getting enough exercise anyways, right? And we'll see what's over there. So we were kind of over there, walking by that playground. And then now I see this giant river. And I think I remember walking and I, now I can see it. There's a beach right there, a small little beach. So a beach where people could potentially hang out, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that's fully realized yet. But that is um, like a giant play area. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. Um, anyways, you can see it over there. I should go to that side, but I want to walk 
into those buildings. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Yeah. Yeah.